Hello guys, and welcome to an update tutorial on how to use the Powered Spawner from Ender IO. So, let's get started. So, you're probably wondering what this room's for, and I'm going to explain about that in a minute. But basically, when you, what you want to do is craft this guy and place him down in the world. And what you're going to want to do to start off with is give him some sort of power. I'm going to be using a creative capacitor bank just for the simplicity of the tutorial. And you're probably going to look at this interface and thinking, whoa, this is a little bit complicated, but I'm going to explain it step by step how to use it. So basically, what you're going to want to do is, first of all, configure what redstone mode you want it into. I've set it to active with redstone, but you can, ch you can change it to active without signal, never active, always active, and active with signal. But I want to be able to control it with this lever, as of why I have connected it. I've changed it into active with signal. The configuration ID, this is basically where you configure it to whatever side where you want it to pull or push out of its inventories. Now, just for simplicity, I'm not going to go over these inventories because it's a little bit complicated. So, just for simplicity, I'm going to stay away from doing the push and pull inventories. So, what you want to do is basically identify a mob you want to be able to spawn over and over again. I'm going to be using an Enderman, although I don't believe Enderman are going to work because I am in peaceful mode. So I'm just going to go get a, a, another Enderman and I'm going to go and set it to easy difficulty. I'm going to spawn an Enderman and... Okay, this Enderman appears to be not... Okay, does it, okay I don't think this Enderman wants to behave at all. But yeah, so right click on him, or shift right click if you're using a villager, and you should be able to capture him inside a soul vial. And what you're going to want to do from this point is get yourself a broken spawner. Now you get this from basically breaking a regular spawner. For example, if I just get myself a zombie spawner that you would typically find in a dungeon, all you have to do is break it, and you should be able to yield a broken spawner. And if you want to spawn a zombie, you can basically skip over this process and go to the next step. But if you want to spawn something else other than what you find in the broken spawner, you'll need a soul binder. And what you can do is basically put the soul vial of the Enderman and a broken spawner in there. And you're going to need some player XP levels. You're going to need 15 levels. And then what it's going to start doing is basically combining them in here. And you're going to make an Enderman Broken Spawner. Now this does take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. And I'll be right back once it's nearly done. Okay guys, so it's getting pretty close to done. And I just want to talk about this Octodic Capacitor for a second. So basically this uh, item can go inside the Powered Spawner. And essentially what it does is it basically increases the energy storage, speed and ranges of all Ender Iron machines. So... Now as you can see, we've got an empty soul vial and a broken spawner. And you're probably wondering, well, how on earth do you put this inside the powered spawner? Well, what you're going to want to do is basically break it, and you're going to want to come over to an anvil. And this is where it gets a little bit expensive again. Uh, you are going to want to basically combine them in an anvil for 30 XP levels, and then you're basically going to get a configured powered spawner. And I have 69 XP levels uh, remaining. And now what what we've got is an Enderman spawner. So hopefully now, if I basically activate him, you'll see particle effects, which means he's work, which means that he is working. Although make sure in the interface that he is on spawn and not on capture mode, because otherwise, if you have it on capture mode, it's basically not going to work. It's going to like try and capture mobs instead of spawning them. So, as you can see, hopefully now, we should be seeing some Endermen starting to spawn. So, I'm going to basically cut the video here again, guys, and I'm going to resume once we have a successful Enderman spawn. Okay, guys, so we ha so as, as you can see, there's just some Endermen just spawned inside the pen, although ineffable glass doesn't seem to contain them very well, but... As I was talking about the optic capacitors, you can basically put them in here, and this will basically increase the range, speed, and power capacity of the spawner. So now, as you can see, the machine's running a lot faster, and there you go, we're getting some Enderman spawning. And because of the redstone configuration, I can flip that lever, and the powered spawner turns off instantly. 
So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned a little bit about how to use the powered spawner. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye from Potent Plum.